Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Where could I find a group of people who want to get away? Hmm... Oh, I know! At the docks! Yes, of course, they're probably looking for a bolt. How did I not think of that earlier? Hmm... So let's go over here and... Oh, there they are! <laughs> hey, back off you creep! You want something? Or are you just like sliding up to people? What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us to him? Uh, Frankie, what should we do? If Daddy finds us now, oh, I don't know. And the boat's coming any minute. Dollface, maybe we gotta head back to, and try to talk to the boss one more time. Oh, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know what it'll do to you if we do that? Francesca, baby doll, if we can just talk calm like with the boss, he'll understand. Oh, Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie. <laughs> More than anyone in the whole world. Then let's go, Frankie. Let's run to the ends of the earth if we have to. But butter biscuits. They already found the salt. We can't keep running forever. We can't, Frankie. The more you try to put out the flames of love, the hotter they burn. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames of passion. No one! <laughs> Don't you see, mister? I beg of you. Pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? Hmm... Mm, no way, sob sister! Well, what did you say to me? You terrible, terrible man! Fine, have it your way. We all go with you. Never. We'll move from this spot. Oh, yes, you will! Okay, she actually won't. No matter what you say, you've got to go back to the boss, uh, regardless. So, let's go back to the boss, shall we? Oh, dialogue. Forgot about this. Oh, whatever shall we do? We have to say something to that Don Pianta fellow. I must say, though, I don't fancy a run of terrible luck. That would be unfortunate. You know, it's unfortunate that I'm portraying Mario as quite the brute in my choices. <laughs> but I'm only choosing the ones that I think will lead to the funniest response anyway. Oh, look who's come back. The proverbial mustache. You're gonna brighten my mood? So, give what you got. You know the whereabouts of these two runaways? Okay, fine, I'll be nice. Uh, I can't tell you that. I mean, oh, I can't tell you that. That's how I envision Mario saying that. <laughs> what? I must be going deaf. Did you just say to me that you couldn't tell me? You come waltzing in here and say that to me? To me? Do I look like a sucker to you? I warned you, wise guy. Fine. We're gonna need a mop to pick up what's left of you. Daddy, wait! Just in time to save me. <laughs> Francesca, boss, forgive me, boss. I'm sorry. I'm truly I am. Frankie, so back you come, head hung low with your tail between your legs. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should elope. It was me. But Frankie said no. He said we should come back talking to you, Daddy. Boss, listen. I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it all for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, daddy! No, no, no! I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're going to punish anyone, punish me! No, boss. It's all on me. It's my responsibility. All the blame right here. <laughs> this is getting very complicated. But you are getting a pretty good story out of this. Daddy! Boss! Yeah! Enough! Quiet, both of you. Francesca, my headstrong daughter, you used up your last favor long ago. And you, Frankie, you were like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Dom Pianta. I feel such disappointment in you two. It's like a poison shroom in my gut. <laughs> Daddy! Boss! I don't ever want to see your mugs again, you hear me? Get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where. Just go. That's what you expect me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Go, do what you want, even if it means getting married. Oh, Daddy! Heart. Dad, no, no, wait, I mean, boss! Heart. <laughs> Thank you so much, Daddy. Thanks for your blessing. Boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman. I promise you, she'll want for nothing. Enough already, just go. Go! <laughs> Francesca, seeing you this happy makes me happy too. Congrats, both of yous. Frankie, this is great. And I quite what I promised, but I, things turned out okay, am I right? This is a really touching but entertaining scene at the same time. <laughs> I love this. Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell, and thank you. And thus they go. But we have been at business to attend to. 
He was still here. <clears throat> well, you found my daughter and got her to come back here. And just looking, and just looking how things turned out, what a complete and utter soap opera. <laughs> but hey, a deal's a deal. You can have your blimp ticket, like I said. Woo! Finally! Who oh, no, that guy's got her smiling ear to ear. She's happy, that's good. Hey, I knew you were the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. You're welcome. But I don't want to see that gloomy face of yours no more. Don't ever come back here. Okay. I'm back. <laughs> I gave you a ticket, Bob. So hurry up and scramble at Good luck finding that thing. So yeah, I, I, uh, I like that they show... Oh, Mario's sliding. Mario is sliding. What? Oh, he's stopping. <laughs> yeah, I like this scene because it shows that even the most hardened of criminal syndicate bosses has a sensitive side of sorts. Anyway, let's move on here and get on over to the blimp, shall we? Uh, there's a bit of dialogue on the way there, though, so I, I probably am best not cutting. So, yeah. My, my. We've done it, Mario. Next stop, Glitzville. Actually, next stop is going to be a check on my inbox. <laughs> so let's check our email. It's Koopley. This is uh, Koops' dad. Mario, Koops, how are you boys doing? I'm just amazed. I had no idea a machine like this could be used to send messages. Technology, wow. I'm doing great. Drinking fresh spring water, picking wildflowers, polishing my shell. This town seems so boring 10 years ago, but I see the world differently now. I bet you like Petalburg more than you used to once you get back from your adventure, Koops. So where are you headed next? I want you to see the wide world, son. It'll be good for you. But don't go too far past the front door. Ha 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 ha! From Koopley. With a selfie along with it. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, you can't really email characters back, so even though they ask questions, you can't actually respond to them. It's kind of too bad. I'd like to see their, their responses to that. Anyway, I've got a ticket. Yes, I will. Here we go. But first... Star piece behind the pipe. Don't forget about that. Uh, anything... I didn't think so. So let's go down the pipe and head over to the right. Haha, <laughs> you can't tell me to go to the blimp. Uh, I guess you can't tell me. Dang, invisible walls. Dang. And you also can't go through that rope either. You can just press the A button to go inside the blimp and fly through the sky on a Mario Kart victory blimp. <laughs> Woo! Through the printed cloud background clouds and... Uh, I don't know, it, it, <laughs> it's kind of like when you have one of those illusion scenes that you're like in place and then you're pretending you're running and then the background is going past you, you know, quickly or something like that and yeah, you get what I'm saying there, like a green screen thing. <laughs> Chapter 3 of Glitz and Glory starts right here, right now. Well, maybe not quite, there's a little cutscene to be had still of us flying to a seemingly flying city out there in the background. Man, that place has got to be expensive to run. <laughs> okay, we're flying. That's enough of that. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't press the A button to go past that. It just happens automatically. And just watch this. The, the scale model of Mario as you're being dropped into... Glitzville just doesn't quite match up. Mario looks like a giant in comparison to the place. Watch this. Look at that. <laughs> but once you actually go into the place, you'll see how small you are in comparison to the rest of the place. Look at that. Welcome to Glitzville. With super hyper happy carnival music. My, my, my! Glitzville! I've heard that the Glitz Pit is just full of brawny brawls. I must admit, the prospect of some hurly-burly gets me a touch peaked. <laughs> I love Flurry's dialogue. Then again, all the characters have really good dialogue. Characters are really lovable in this game. Now, darling, let's find that crystal star, hmm? Yes, let's shall. If you want to go back to uh, Rogueport, you can just take the blimp back, but I don't... I don't really have to at the moment here, but first, what I'm actually going to do is... Aha! Star piece right off the bat. Do not forget about that. Hey, Lakitu. How's it going? Glitzville hangs out in the clouds. I'll give you two guesses why I like it here. 
I'm pretty sure you can guess, viewers. <clears throat> viewers, I'm pretty sure you can guess. Yes, I did. Did you see me get out? <laughs> um, over here, you might notice behind the telephone booth. Yep, there's a Starfy, so don't forget about that. Over here is a souvenir shop, aka item shop, of which we can get a couple of new stuff here. Uh, you see that. We already got one of those, even though the prices are a little bit inflated here in comparison to other shops. You've already seen how dodgy works, so I don't have to really show the repel cape. Um, oh, Earthquake. That one's new, isn't it? You haven't seen that before. Really cool item there. So yeah, this is just a basic shop. And who is that burly hawk on, in the pictures? Hmm, perhaps we'll find out later. Can I go through here? Well, I can, but I can't actually do anything there. Hello there, are you customer? The aroma of young in the air is a specialty of Glitzville. Mr. Hoggy's famous hot dogs. Only 10 coins for one. Will you buy one? I can't afford it, but I will. I, I mean, I do think I have to buy a hot dog later if I recall correctly, so I'll, I'll be back later. So don't worry, you'll get my business when I'm ready for you. <laughs> Daddy, I'm hungry. I want to eat hot dog. I want to eat right now. So this is Glitzville. Not a bad place, if a little on the tawdry side. Perhaps I'll begin my stay here with a hostile buyout of that hot dog stand. <laughs> I don't know if he's listening to the kid or if he's thinking of his business plans. I find this floating city concept quite fascinating. Yes, it intrigues me. I wonder what sort of coinage one might shell out to build a vacation home here. So they are quite the rich family, as you can tell. See that hot dog stand over there? Best hot dog menu of all time. No joke. Hey, but you look more into fighting than hot dogs. Are you a pro? I'll root for you. Man, I would like to have some fights. That does seem to be my forte. Hostar piece. Don't forget about that, by the way. Um, you can check out over here. I don't really think there's anything hidden. Uh, I'm not going to go inside just yet. I just want to look around to see if there's anything of importance. Maybe I should have ground pounded on the other side. I don't think there is, though. But I do know uh, the other star piece locations of this area. Oh no! Oh no, I'll never reach us. Whatever shall I do? Oh, whoops, I accidentally hit that block. Oh, well, now I can get that shine sprite. <laughs> now that I have three shine sprites, I wonder if I should go upgrade a partner. Eh, I'll do that later. And in coupon is right here. Um, I'll go inside. The fresh juice hot to glitzy indeed. That fabulous mustache. I've seen it somewhere before, I know it. Yes, Mario. That is definitely a name I've heard somewhere before. Hmm. Hey there and welcome! Our doors are always open for thirsty fight fans. So grab a frosty juice, take a load off, and enjoy. Okie dokie. Even though you can't really buy juice. <laughs> uh don't you look very you don't look very familiar. Are you on vacation? Me? Just a lack of two digs on combat sports, dude. Nice meeting you. Today's main event will rule! I'm betting on Rock Hawk. No matter who's fighting him. Who is this Rock Hawk? I don't know, but I do know there's a star piece behind here. But yeah, you can't get juice, unfortunately. Oh, It's too bad. It's too bad. Yeah. So too bad. <laughs> Um, you'll notice that there's like gaps behind the buildings and stuff like that, but as demonstrated before, you can't really sneak in between them. Uh, obviously, obviously there's a switch here. No, I can't press it! Or can I? Ground pound it. <laughs> and yeah, that board over there was actually a bunch of stairs waiting to be unfolded. So let's go up, oh, let's go up here and see what's here. Just gotta explore the area before moving on. The Power Plus Partner Badge does exactly what it says, and you might see it that underneath the poster. Wah! It's a star piece. Oh yeah. And up here on this ginormous rock and chicken poster is something for later, actually. Just keep this in mind. Yeah, you can actually get on top of the hot dog stand like that. So yeah, remember that for later. But for now, I think I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.